That's good. Here we go. Is that strange? Hi, everybody! Hi, guys! Welcome to the Twitch Home Shopping Network. We're gonna give you guys a couple minutes to get settled here, but in case you are new here, this is our second time doing this, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the rules. So the first thing we're gonna be doing tonight is showing off one of our flash deals, right? Yeah, we're gonna have three awesome flash deals tonight that are gonna be open to callers and uh, pretty much anybody who wants them. And these are very special, uh, very, very special items that you won't find anywhere else, folks, at amazingly low prices. Absolutely. So let me tell you guys a little bit about how this works. So first of all, we are gonna be going through the store one section at a time. Unfortunately, we will not be able to revisit sections most likely, so please be paying attention. And if you see anything you like, you can message DS Koopa Checkout. We'll make sure that they uh, get in the chat real quick. Uh, DS Koopa Checkout to use to get anything you want from this store. Just about. There you go. Cody's going to type DS Koopa Checkout in the chat right there. You can also use the exclamation point HSN to get a little bit more about what we're doing tonight. So anything you guys want, we'll be able to grab for you. We've got a bunch of assistants who are going to help out. Uh, at the very end of the night, we'll tally your total. You let us know when you're all done, and we'll send you guys a PayPal invoice. So make sure you're getting your email address to DS Koopa Checkout, and also anything you see as you see it. We will not be taking specific requests, because there's just going to be too many of you guys. Sorry. So, you might be wondering, what's shipping like? I hate shipping. I hate it too. I hate shipping. But, if you subscribe with Twitch Prime, or just subscribe in general, you will be getting free shipping on any order within the United States tonight. No ship? No. <laughs> As if, excuse me, if you are international though, uh, expect shipping rates at about $20 per order. So Kelsey, should we get started with our first flash deal of the I, night? I think we should. It looks like we've already got a pretty good amount of viewers here. So Cody, why don't you explain how this works real quick? So we're going to have uh, a very limited offer. We only have two of this item up for sale tonight. Um, we're going to give it out to the first two people that call in. So uh, just let me know. Uh, or, excuse me, just go ahead and give us a call if you want to get in on this super special deal. Kelsey, just one moment as I bring up the ground. Kelsey, why don't you show us our first flash sale item of the night? All right, guys, this is an item you might recognize. This is the Super Nintendo Classic, and boy, is it super. There are a bunch of games built into this, into this device, and it normally retails for $79.99. Tonight only, we have these two special ones for you for only $39.99. $39.99. That's a $39.99 value, or savings. It's actually a $40 savings. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sweet, we've got one guy already. All we've right, already we've got, got our first caller. caller. Oh, my goodness. It looks like I one of these. I didn't to give out the phone number yet. <laughs> well, the phone number's you know. at the bottom. You know. Oh, it is. There you go. All right, we've got one down. <laughs> And guys, okay, you'd cool. be a fool not so, to take us up on this deal. Ahead, it has um, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, me. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, one of the best games of all time, and a game that wasn't even released on the Super Nintendo. Isn't that amazing? Star Fox 2, a game that was 90% completed, never released to the general public until now. You can only get it today, folks, right here on the Twitch Home Shopping Network. What, what's your favorite game on this console, Kelsey? Oh gosh, it's hard to pick because they're all so super. They are super, and I heard this game, or this system here is clinically proven to have Donkey Kong Country. Wow. Donkey Kong Country, that's bananas. Doctors say it also includes Star Fox. Oh my. Incredible. And Star Fox 2, which is really the real game. I already, I already, oh, I'm took, sorry. I sorry, I already I'm took sorry. that one. Uh, also, Final Fantasy 3, a total classic. Pretty expensive if you're looking to buy the legitimate cartridge. But if you're just looking to play uh, just a little bit of nostalgia, you want your console here, uh, this, is, this is the number one way to go. We're seeing lots of Twitch Prime oh subscriptions God. flying in. Uh, operators are standing by, so please get those calls in. What are you calling in. for? Oh boy, it looks like you we are might. the second and last person, I guess. In All right. Two, so yeah, we're good. We've there we sold go. our other we Super Nintendo classics. We have sold both classics. of our yeah. Super Nintendo classics. Thank you for participating. All future flash sales from uh, here on out for the rest of the night will be available to everybody. We will have unlimited quantities of those. So, uh, thank you for participating in our early bird special flash sale. Kelsey, where would you like to start tonight? All right. So, 
We've almost over doubled in viewers since I last explained the rules, so let me let's, do a let's real... Let's re-explain them. Yeah, let's really re-explain them. I think we're going to start in the plushie section tonight. That's always a real big winner. Oh, yes. Um, so tonight we're going to be going through the store. Normally you wouldn't have a chance to really shop here, but tonight, as you see things, if you see anything in the store that you would like, please message DS Koopa Checkout, and they will go grab it for you. Now, there are a lot of you, so it's possible that someone might beat you to it. We're going to do our best to satisfy all demands, but just let us know as you see things, and uh, message DS Koopa Checkout. Don't That's post DS Koopa Checkout. It in... That's right. Don't post it in the chat. We will not be able to... Get that as it's flying by. Message DS Koopa Checkout. Eventually, you'll be giving them your email address. We'll compile a big cart for you, whatever you guys want to get. And at the end of the night or tomorrow morning, we're going to be sending you guys a PayPal invoice that you can pay for all of it. That's right, Kelsey. And if you're wondering about shipping, as I usually do, I hate shipping. Why not kill that shipping? Smash it in the face. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button on Twitch, and you will get free shipping within the United States. You can even use your Twitch Prime account that you probably already use on Amazon to get free shipping. Well, it's valid here too, folks. That's right. If you are international, though, expect shipping rates of about $20 per order, unfortunately. It's... It's crazy. It's it's too much. That ship cray. <laughs> that ship cray. All right, Kelsey. Uh, I I heard earlier you want to start with plushies. I think we should probably start at the plushie section. What do you think? I think so too, Kelsey. All let's, right. Let's go on our way. Let's check out some plushies. Ooh, all the way to the front of the store. If you haven't been to our stores before, folks, you are missing out. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's start all the way up here in the front. And let's go through some of our favorite plushies. Again, if you see anything you like here, go ahead and message the account known as DS Koopa Checkout. Now, Cody, and they do can you get you keys? set up. I do not have the keys. Right, Thank I'm you, Kelsey. Keys Starting here at the top, uh, right away, somehow this giant squid plushie uh, scooted into the Animal Crossing section, but we have Cyrus. Rossetti, that mean, mean man. You can you can do whatever you want to this plushie. If you need to exact revenge, or maybe you love him. There he is. Uh, Brewster, real popular coffee pigeon. And uh, Isabel, new fighter in Smash Bros. You can uh, you can have fake Smash simulation fights with this Isabel already. KK right. Slider, that cool, cool guy. And Tom Nook. Here is our new series of ghost Pokemon. We've got Litwick, Haunter, and uh, Mimikyu. These and now these are really great because these are actually normally Crane Game prizes in Japan. We're able to order from the Crane King catalog, which is really special. So these items you would normally only be able to get if you won them out of a Crane machine in Japan. But we've got them here for you. They're just $24.99 each. They're really nice, high quality, very huggable, very nice and squishy. And we are we do have limited quantities of these, so definitely act fast if you're interested in any of those. Talk about nice and squishy. We have the most high quality of Pokemon plushies you could imagine. Look at that fur right there. You could use that to clean your windows. Whatever you like. These are the nicest Pokemon plushies I have ever seen. I believe it's made by Sane. Yeah, they're uh, very, very high quality. Also from Japan. These guys are going to be really, really soft. Uh, they range from 18 to about $22. Most of them are 20 with a couple exceptions in there. Uh, these are all really, really nice. And we do have limited quantities of these as well. Is that an Here's Alolan Vulpix Alolan there, Kelsey? Alolan Vulpix, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. Alolan Vulpix, one of the more popular of the new Pokemon set from uh, Sun and Moon. Oh my gosh, Magikarp. I just love how stupid he looks. Oh, he does. He looks real stupid, Cody. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Uh, in the back there, let's not forget about Pikachu. I think Pikachu doesn't get enough credit in the Pokemon series. It's, he's kind of overshadowed a bit, but we've got plenty of Pikachus back here, folks. This one here is uh, eating someone's heart, I believe. This one here has got uh, shine in his eyes. He's very chipper, happy Pikachu. Um, and then if, if you're not a big fan of Pikachu, but you're like, I kind of like Pikachu, but I wish he was tougher. We got a Lolan Raichu here. Look at that. This is our first time having him in store. He just came in very recently, and we're already down to, I think, one of our last ones. So, very cool. Very cool. Moving on down here. If Pokemon's not your thing, Mario's got to be. Who doesn't love Super Mario Brothers? And we have got all of the baddies here. Um, you might notice Waluigi kind of sneaking in down here. There we go. He's, he may not be in Smash, but he's in our stores. And he can be in your home for only... 
1799. We've got some really cute Legend of Zelda plushies. Have you mentioned those yet? I'm I sorry. have not mentioned them. Okay, no. they are, they're really cute. They Look are at from his the smiling Wind Waker face. set. Probably the best one. When I usually see humanoid plushies, they don't look right. No, they really don't. But these ones look awesome. The Wind Waker cell shaded style really adds to a, adds to a plushie form. It makes them look so cute. Now, if you're looking for a plushie that's a little bit bigger and faster and stronger too, this right here is the first member of the DK crew. Over here, we have got a rainbow of Yoshi's. And uh, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and more. Everybody from the Mario series. Oh, even Bert. Oh, Birdo's gone. <laughs> Mimic is gone. Okay, never mind, folks. No Birdo. Sorry about that. We might have more in our other plushie section. So I think that's going to conclude our tour through the plushie. <laughs> excuse me, the plushie section. Um, but one thing I would like to throw out there for anyone who's interested, one thing that we do here at Pink Gorilla that I think a lot of people are big fans of is our Gachapon machines. For only one dollar, you can get a random Pokemon out of these machines. You never know who you're going to get. I can show you some example of the type of figure you can get, though. If you want a random Pokemon figure, go ahead and message DS Koopa Checkout, random Pokemon figure, and just let us know how many you'd like. Uh, they're just one dollar each, and we will uh, set you up with a couple random Pokemon. Let's move on. Kelsey, what, what are you feeling next? What do you think we should go for? I don't know. I think last time we kind of skimped on the box games. Is that where we want to start next? Yeah, or is know, that... What are you feeling, Cody? Yeah, PS2 doesn't get enough credit. What, possibly my favorite console of all time. I think, uh, I think we should look through the PS2 section first, Kelsey. All right. I'll be right there. All right. Kelsey, did you play a lot of PS2 growing up? They really are. Um, I was a big fan of the PlayStation 2. Tony Hawk uh, is, a, is a strong memory in my head, as well as the Grand Theft Auto games, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. But Kelsey, why don't you help me by pointing out some of the PS2 games you grew up. And again, if any of these games uh, are looking good to you, go ahead and message DS Koopa Checkout, and uh, they can help you out. If you're curious about pricing, uh, most of these games are going to be between 2 to $20? $20, yeah, $20 on really, the higher end? And, and we're happy to show you if you if you ask uh, DS Koopa Checkout. Don't worry, you're not blindly purchasing yeah. it. They'll figure out the price for you. But um, let me just go slowly through all these games. Uh, also, if you're wondering about manuals, don't be afraid to ask. It's not really a big deal. Uh, may take us a little bit of time to figure that out for you, but I'd say 90% of the time the game will have a manual. Uh, Forever Kingdom. I've never heard of this one before. $25. This must be a premium game. I, and it makes sense that I've never heard of it and it's, uh, it's a very it's on the higher end of PS2 games. All right, we're already selling some things here. There's some really, really nice quality games in here. I was always a big fan of the Jack and Daxter series. How about you? How about yourself? I never Cody? played a single one. Now, I haven't played that one. Lost Frontier. Lost he looks Frontier. he looks so mature compared to the totally. Jack that I know. There he is, looking mean, looking tough. What other games did you love playing, Kelsey? I loved the Kingdom Hearts series. Oh, the Kingdom Hearts series is a real classic. That's for a sure. must play. Also, Final Fantasy X. If you've never played that one, that's really a classic Bay RPG right there. Luckily, a lot of these games, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy included, have been re-released about 30 times. Let's see, going into the sports section now. Oh, Matrix Path of Neo, see you later. <laughs> uh, Monopoly Party, why not have a party with Monopoly? Forget about all the pieces. You never got to lose one again with this disc. Hot Shots Tennis is going. Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2, what an amazing set of games. So much fun. Cartooning at its best. I don't know anything about cars. It made it perfect <laughs> for a dummy like me. This is one of my favorite games Odin right here. Sphere. Odin yes. Sphere. This is an incredible. As you can see from the cover art on here, this is what the gameplay looks like too. It's just this gorgeous, gorgeous art in a really fun beat-em-up style. Look at that. That's amazing. Okami. Now this game also got a recent re-release, but if you do want the original, looks like we have one here in very nice condition for the PlayStation 2. 
Um, also, though, instead, if you would like a Switch version of Okami, feel free to uh, go ahead and message DS Koopa Checkout. We have limited quantities of the physical Switch edition that never came out in America. It's a Japanese one. Don't worry, folks. It plays in English. It's region free. It'll be a beautiful addition to your shelf. It really adds some spice when you have a Japanese game on your shelf. People Absolutely. say, people say, hey, what's going on with that? This guy's kind of interesting. He's yeah, got, this got is an impressive of... man right here, <laughs> or woman. Now you can't go wrong with the Soul Calibur series, although I know the new one is out, so maybe that's what people are focused on right now. If you hate the new one, go back to the two and three. See, Star Ocean, Till the End of Time, a series I always wanted to get into, never had the time to. What about you, Kelsey? I know you're a big fan of JRPGs. Yeah, I haven't played it either, unfortunately. I know they're, they're always recommended to me. I'm a big fan of the Tales series. We've got all kinds of good RPGs here. We've got Valkyrie Profile 2. We've got Wild Arms 3. Is that Tony, Tony Hawk wow. Underground? The single best game on the planet. Absolutely. Perfect. You'd be a fool not to get it. Maybe it's already in your collection. <sighs> Wakeboarding Unleashed also is actually very fun. It plays exactly like the Tony Hawk games. Wild Arms 3. That PlayStation Classic, Kelsey, it's going to include Wild Arms 1. Why not think ahead? It's probably a good game. Buy Wild <laughs> Arms 3 in advance. Or... Lay down the smackdown on your friends and shut their mouth. Here we are at the very end, Zathura, the odd Jumanji-like sci-fi game. And uh, there we are. I think we've kind of concluded our PS2 games. We have plenty of Japanese ones down here, but the time it would take to go through them is pretty outrageous. If you're looking for a specific Japanese game, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'll, I'll just point out well, some, we'll do a I'll couple point out some ones. interesting ones. We I do can... have Dot Hack GU Volume 2. This is significantly cheaper than what it is in English. Um, we now do have... note, folks, the Japanese PS2 games will not play on the American PS2, Right, they are region locked. But they do look nice in a collection. You can add some Final Fantasy flair to your collection. Again, the I Japanese do like versions. The cover here of Ratchet and Clank for the Japanese PS2. You think that's good? good? Check out this one. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> Much intense. Much different art. Pretty intense. Very interesting. Uh, oh my gosh! I know Daryl in the chat is a big fan of the Metal Gear series, and we have got Metal Gear Two Subsistence and just the regular versions here in Japanese. Got to buy every version. You never know. The genius of Kojima. All right, let's move on to the original Xbox. What do you think? Absolutely, Kelsey. All right. So the original Xbox is a great, great system to collect for because so many of these games are like 4 and $5. Absolute classics. Things like Blood Wake, Crimson Skies, which you can actually play on your Xbox One. Uh, it is a and backwards online, compatible. online, I believe. Yeah, it is a backwards compatible game. We've got the original Halo for only $5. You guys must remember how, how many nights you spent LAN parties with your friends playing the original Halo. Is that just me? Couldn't have been just me. I think it might have just been you, Kelsey. Oh, I'm the only Halo person was, who played Halo. Halo wasn't a big series. It didn't really go anywhere. Interesting thing I heard recently. Hope it's true. Halo 2 Limited Edition is actually more common than Halo 2. Really? That's what I heard. I... More of them sold than regular. Huh. Um, I find that hard to believe, but... Maybe it's true. Here's another interesting thing. Uh, the Xbox, um, with although it doesn't have quite the library of the PlayStation 2, if you're going to play a game that's cross-platform or multi-platform, I would recommend buying it on the Xbox. It just looks better. If you get an HDMI adapter for your Xbox, hook that thing up to the big screen, your games are going to look better than you ever remember them. Have you ever played any of the NFL or NBA Street games? I have These not. are a lot of fun. They're a little bit more expensive than the normal uh, sports titles, but these are these are really fun. What's so fun about them, Kelsey? Oh, they're just kind of crazy. You can do more weird and fun, you know, what you would think of a street game, right? Yeah, it's you can be a like bit... beat people up, yeah, break the rules. Totally. Yeah, totally. Be a little wackier. Be a little more no rules. Uh, this one here, Sid Meier's Pirates, this one also works on the Xbox One. This one is a lot of fun, too. Not available on the PS2, I don't think, maybe. But uh, either way, it works on your Xbox One. You don't even have to hook up the old original Xbox, guys. And for those of you just joining us in the chat, I do want to reiterate a couple times, because 
seeing a couple of uh, messages here. We unfortunately are not able to check for specific games for you guys. There's, I don't know if you can see, there's 750 people in the chat, so as you can imagine, that's going to get pretty crazy pretty quick, and it'll be a lot of us running back and forth around the store. So unfortunately, we're only able to offer what we can actually see here. And I hope that there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys are looking for here. All right, Kelsey. I think that concludes the original Xbox section. Is that Jet Set Radio Future? It is uh, the combo Sega GT2000 and Jet Set Radio Future. Um, we may have another copy of that, but that one didn't I'm sell. Back up. Um, I've got like maybe 15 messages waiting for me. All right, let's keep going. If you guys haven't like already reiterated. Um, yeah, we just did. Um, All right, moving on. Uh, only which... let me have three chats up at a time. Okay. It takes Why don't forever. we? What? I apologize. <laughs> All right, so from here, I think we'll start on the Famicom games. I think that sounds like a good idea. Uh, these ones now, you might need a little help. Um, I'll just point out some of the more interesting ones because they are kind of hard to read. Um, these will work on your original NES if you buy one of these suckers right here, the 60 to 72 pin connector. Now, that'll let you play your Famicom games on the original Nintendo console. It's so much fun to explore the library that never quite made it to America. Um... Right here, Devil World. Now that's an interesting one. Very arcade style game. Never made it to America, at least not on a cartridge. There might be a collection out there or something. But that's a very cool one. Uh, Nintendo published, Nintendo developed. Really cool one. You probably see it in uh, Smash Brothers. He's an assist trophy, the devil guy. He, he kind of shifts the size of the stage. Oh, let's see. So just so you guys know, our uh, our awesome assistants are a little bit backed up, so if you don't hear back from them right away, I promise we will get to you. We do sometimes only have one or two copies of some of these games, so if someone got to it before you, I'm really sorry. We're going to do our best to fulfill all orders, but there might be some stuff you don't get because someone else beat you to it. So definitely jump on it as soon as you can if you see something you'd like. Do you have any favorite Famicom games, Kelsey? One of mine is this... Oh, how do you pronounce it? One of my favorites that I can't Gege even Gege remember no, his name exactly, but... No Kitaro? Gege Gege no Kaitaro. Oh, it's Kaitaro. Okay. Yes, it is Kaitaro. All right, Devil World has See sold. See you later, Devil World. Didn't expect that one to... To stick around. That's yeah. a great one. Uh, I love this look. Now, this is something uh, a good friend of mine has the full collection of. These are called the Pulse Line series. You know how on original Nintendo... They started the games off looking like this. Like, all of them kind of looked like this. Uh, it was going to be like a standard black box. Thank you, Kelsey. Like a standard format that Nintendo would use for all their games. Well, they also had that in Japan. But everyone calls it the Pulse Line series. It's much more boring. Just has the title. Just has the name. Uh, not a lot of interesting art. I'm glad they switched off of it. But um, a good friend of mine has a whole set framed on his in his game room it looks amazing i really like all of the uh, ninja jaja maru kun games these ones are all a lot of fun we have three different ones i believe i think that one's my favorite although i can't quite remember because they're all pretty similar they're uh, kind of an arcadey uh single screen platformer all right we got load runner selling See you later, Load Excellent Runner. Choice. That is a great looking cartridge. Those yellow cartridges, they don't hold up over time usually. They can get quite dirty. Um, I know Kelsey uses a pair of yellow Joy-Cons that have quite f faded to a uh, disgusting level, frankly. Hey. <laughs> now here's one of my favorites ever, Popeye. Now this did come out on the NES, of course. Um, but I just, I just love that green cartridge. I love the colorful flair that you just don't get with the original NES cartridges. I really like the pink cartridges. I think they're a there really nice go. color. Yes. Oh my gosh, and look at this. We have got a celebrity game in the room. It is Takeshi no Cholson, AKA Takeshi's Challenge, and we have two copies. Amazing. This game is uh, pretty famous for being a very, very bizarre title. Um, oh, see you one. later, Takeshi. Um, <laughs> In that game, it starts off by um, you can assault your boss and um, divorce your wife and do all sorts of wacky, strange things that you can't do every day. There's even a karaoke portion. All right. Oh, and now here's the last one I want to show you and the last one on our list, Zippy Race. This one's cool because it includes an LED display for when the game is turned on. 
Now with the original Famicom, you don't actually get any kind of indication that the system is powered on like you do with the NES. So it's a very helpful testing item, right Kelsey? Absolutely. Kelsey, where would you like to look at next? Uh, we just did Famicom, I kind of feel like we should hit the NES, but what do you think? You're asking me all of the, where we should go for all of these. You don't have any opinions? Yeah, I just said... All right, let's do it. All right, yeah, cool. Let's so uh, let's start up here. Ten-yard fight. It's football, Super Bowl... <laughs> I almost said Super Bowl Sunday. It's football Sunday, which nobody calls it. Um, Seahawks just lost. What a shame. Just holler if you need any of these games, folks. I'm standing by with a pair of scissors. And we just got a ton of new selection picked out from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Very interesting titles. Are you a bad enough dude to pick up a copy of Bad Dudes? I think Bible Adventures is the real hit right here. Not only that, but we do have a, a book to go with it. A book about Bible Adventures? We do, we have a book about Bible Adventures. We'll get to these in a little bit, but just so you know, we do have these wonderful books, Boss Fight books, and there is one about bo uh, Bible Adventures, so why not pick yourself up a copy of Bible Adventures and the book? Castle Quest, Castlevania. Ca Simon Be Beaumont, now in the new Super Smash Bros. series. Very cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me. See where he came from. Castlevania and Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Start back here at the top. How about a little bit of dance aerobics? Work off, work off some of that uh, those calories while you're while you're playing games and having a great time. Only if you've already got the power pad, though. That is a power pad game. All right, looks like Dig Dug is selling. See you later, Dig Dug. That's Dig Dug Two, the sequel, the squeakquel. Castlevania as well. And here we got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a famously bad game thanks to the angry video game nerd. And what a title. I love that cover art. I love this one right here, Dr. Mario. It's a great game to play two player. I kind of don't like it on my own because I'm not great, but I am better than my friends in general. So it's great to play two player. Dragon Power, this, this one's interesting because it was it is a reskin, sort of, a sort of a westernized version of a Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball game, not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball game uh, that came out in Japan. So instead of like the stars, it's like tacos. I, I can't remember all the details, but basically this is an odd censorship of the Dragon Ball series. Uh, speaking of dragons, Dragon Warrior here, and uh, here's something I'd like to point out to all the viewers right away is that we do replace all of the save batteries in any cartridges that use them every single one, even if it didn't need it. I'm gonna put a fresh one in there for you so you're good to go for another, uh, pretty much a decade. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. DuckTales, amazing game, amazing soundtrack. Oh, absolutely. Kelsey, what's wrong. the best song? Well, I think it's the, uh, the moon song. That's right, right, Kelsey, it's the moon. <laughs> Such an iconic tune. Can you sing it for us? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Halloween may be over, but be ready for next year. Friday the 13th. Very spooky game. So once again, Chad, as you're looking through this, please just let us know uh, at DS Koopa Checkout. Message DS Koopa Checkout. If you are interested in purchasing any of these, they are pretty backed up right now, so it may take a minute for them to get back to you, but we rest assured we are grabbing them. It is on a first-come, first-served basis. And if you get them your email address, we'll be able to send you a PayPal invoice at the end of the night or in the morning. Very important for us to get that email address, folks, or else we won't have any way to get it to you. Ice Hawk. Fan of ice or hockey at all. But this is an amazing game. So much fun. Especially two-player. Again, the NES has a lot of two-player games you may not know about. I grew up only playing just by myself, pretty much. Oh my gosh, of course Zelda's out of here. Now we got the gray cartridge Zelda left. It is uh, it is actually more uncommon than the gold cartridge, but it does not look as cool, I have to admit. Kirby's Adventure, he's sucking the, the label art right off of the cartridge. Crazy. All right, we've got Clax going, all kinds of games selling here. I'm trying to keep up, but we will go through all of your messages later and make sure that we got everything. 
Also, Adventure of Link. Um, some people claim this is a good game. I don't believe them, but some people claim it's a good game. Be a contrarian today and try it out. The Lone Ranger, that's one I don't see very often that's on the original true. Nintendo. That's a pretty uncommon one, and look at what's going on with this cover art. There's all oh, kinds man. of cowboy fun here. Did you have fun with Red Dead 2? Yeah, forget Red Dead Redemption. Get the Lone Ranger. We also got Mock Rider, the uh, the fabled addition to the Smash roster that was not true. See you later, Kirby. Up here, Marble Madness, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Metal Gear. What a triple hit combo. I guess four hit. Marble Madness is good, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good row here. Lots of great games in the M section. Metal Fighter. That's one I definitely don't see every day. That's made by a company called Color Dreams. It was making unlicensed NES games back in the day before that was against a bunch of rules. And of course Metroid. I have to say Metroid. I have to point it out. NES Open here. It's a lot more fun than it looks, guys. Again, the NES made fun out of some of these sports games that just aren't fun to me anymore. NES Open, a great title, even if you're not a big golfer. Ninja Guiding 1 and 2. If you're into if you're into some hardcore difficult punishment, here here are the games for you guys. That is some serious nerd cred if you can beat either of these titles. Now we're coming up on my personal favorite game for the NES here, Punch Out with two exclamation points. Now I know a lot of people think Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Tell you what, guys, it's the same game basically. Basically, they just changed the guy's name. Yeah. It's still that amazing arcade action that was so feels so good to play. Now here's one of Kelsey's favorites. It's Rampage. Oh, Rampage is a great classic game. So much time spent in the arcade playing this one. Oh man, that must have eaten some quarters. Absolutely. Destroyed your quarters as you were destroying cities. <laughs> right. Are selling one of those punch outs? Someone's taking you up on that offer. Smart man. Not Mike Or Tyson woman. Punch Learn your ABCs and your 1-2-3s, and I promise it to be F-U-N. Shadowgate, part of the awesome adventure series that's coming out via limited run on PlayStation 4 soon. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. This one's a lot of fun. You're playing through a castle in a point-and-click style adventure that you didn't really see much of on the NES. It was Shadowgate, Deja Vu, Uninvited, and Princess Tomato. Those four titles were kind of the... Uh, the pinnacle of that, all made by ICOM Solutions. Uh, great, great games. Same format, different theme, a different theme for everyone. Think Fallout, think Skyrim. I'm a big fan of post-apocalypse, not really a fantasy fan, but uh, that interchangeable formula is just so much fun. Different, a different flavor, if you will. Coming into the Mario's. Mario's, of course, a classic. Especially Mario 3. I think Mario 3 is undisputed the, the best game on the original Nintendo. Is what I hear from many, many, many people. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if you are interested in it, might I recommend TMNT 2. A much, much better game, in my opinion. Absolutely. Tetris, if you don't have this on the NES, or the Game Boy, one or the other, I think you're messing up. You gotta pick up one of those. The most classic of classics. Look how much fun this guy's having playing Tubin. You could be having that much fun too, with a copy of Tubin. Be pretty tubular. Down here at the bottom, another one of the few RPGs on the original Nintendo, Ultima Quest for the Avatar. I wouldn't again, call it few RPGs. Again with a brand new battery. Very cool. 
We're getting to the end here. Yes, we are. And I think next... We'll get ready for another flash sale, guys. And I think you're going to really like this one. It's very appropriate of the times. Something that I think everyone will find very useful. Thank you, Nathan, for bringing out our flash sale item of the evening. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's check in with, our, with everybody. Hey... Thank you guys again so much for joining us. I know it's a little hectic. This is actually about 200 to 300 more people than we had last time. I appreciate everyone so, tuning in. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. There's a whole lot going on here, and we've got a lot of deals for you tonight. So this deal right here is very appropriate to the times everybody's going to need one or suffer infinite complaints when Smash Brothers Ultimate comes out. This bad boy here will connect to... Can you spin that for me, Donna? Absolutely. This bad boy here will connect to your PC, your Switch, your Wii U. Ha ha. And it will let you put up to four GameCube controllers hooked up just via two USB ports. An amazing function that you absolutely have to do. Uh, this tonight, usually a $25 value, will be only $15. If you're interested in any of these, we have plenty, folks. Just go ahead and message DS Koopa Checkout and let them know, and we'll uh, set one aside for you. And we do have plenty of these, so if you are interested, don't worry. You don't have to call in or anything. We are happy to just get one of these for you. Happy to offer this amazing deal for you. As we know, Smash Brothers is coming out pretty soon. Hopefully we get a demo pretty soon, too, huh? Oh, I sure hope so. I mean, do you need a demo to play Smash Brothers? You know, know you're what it gonna is. buy it. I know I'm gonna buy it. It's gonna be amazing. And how many Piranha Plant mains are there gonna be here in the chat? I'm gonna Piranha Plant main because I hate my friends. Kelsey, who's your favorite in the new Smash Brothers series? Well, boy, I'm really excited for Isabel. I played a lot of Villager in the last Smash Brothers, so I'm pretty excited to turn up the cute factor even further. I'm a big fan of uh, Pit. Nobody plays this Pit. And I don't play it very seriously, of course, so I, I like to be Pit. He's a fun guy. Um, but boy, if you're not very good at Smash and he just spams arrows at you from across the screen, they can be real annoying. Anyway, let's let's move this on, guys, and uh, I think we'll move on to our next section. Uh, oof. And guys, once again, we are unfortunately not going to be able to accommodate any individual requests. I really appreciate all of the interest in here, but there are a ton of you here, so unfortunately, unless you're seeing it on screen, we won't be able to check for you. Uh, if you do have questions about prices of a specific game, of course, we can do that for you, uh, but we will not be able to... Uh, go hunt out games for you. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. We're going to move on to the I'm having section. a good time, Kelsey. I'm having a good time, too. Good. <sighs> All right, let's check out those PlayStation 1 games. Now, I didn't play a lot of PlayStation growing up, but I know it has an incredible library, a very big one. Uh, PlayStation, or Sony rather, just announced its PlayStation Classic console, which will include 20 titles. But you know what it doesn't include? Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, a must-have title. Final Fantasy VIII, an overlooked Final Fantasy game, you know? Uh, Final Fantasy IX, VII, uh, etc. are all getting the love on the Switch. And VIII you know, is completely overlooked. And you know what it also didn't get? Really bummed me out. Barbie Race and Ride. How I'm, could you forget such a classic? Yes, yes, absolutely. And Barbie Explorer. Explorer as well. This was actually the inspiration for Tomb Raider. Over here, we have Big Bass Fishing. Oh my goodness. Who, oh, and there he goes. See you later, Final Fantasy VIII. Don't worry, folks. We got more copies of Final Fantasy VIII if you're interested. And why not save yourself some money? Final Fantasy VIII, just the disc for $12. The discs. The discs. With, Excuse with me. S. All there four are, of them, yes. Yes, there are many <laughs> discs there. Chrono Cross, a classic. That one's already going. See you later, Chrono See Cross. See you, Chrono Cross. Now, why not card games? Whatever happened to the classics? Guys, card games. This comes with, uh, it, it doesn't specify, but it, it's six card games, And guys. you know Come what? On. If cards are a little bit too risque for you, thankfully, we've got the more family-friendly 
family card games. Oh, thank goodness. Thank I was, goodness. I was worried there might be gambling or alcohol use in the other one. Well, you know what? This one right here, this one's fun for the whole family. So if you're worried about that card games, that E for Everyone really throwing you off, well, this family one is also E for Everyone. Yeah. Different. <laughs> Uh, over here, Crash Bandicoot, as mentioned earlier. We got Crash 2 and Crash 3. Uh, as well as Cyber Tiger. Wasn't this... Was this the one? Or was it Tiger Woods? It was Tiger Woods that you're Tiger, thinking of. Yes, today. Tiger Woods had a hidden copy of uh, the original pilot for South Park stored on the disc. It actually had to be discontinued due to that and then re-released without that data on there. Digimon Digital Card Battle. We also got Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22 for only $7. Well, looks like a PS2 game snuck in oh, here. Let me, just, <laughs> let me just get rid of that real quick. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, Fighter Maker. Oh my gosh, what is this? Make your own fighting game. Interesting, interesting. I've never seen that before. It reminds me of RPG Maker. I wonder if they're made by the same people. Do you have any experience with Fighter Maker, Kelsey? I have not. I think it is a similar thing to RPG Maker, though. Alright, Crash Bandicoot 2. Excellent choice. Jet I Moto, that's a fun want, one. So I'm just going to grab both. Ah, they'll figure it out. Please let us know which Crash Bandicoot yeah, you'd if like. You guys, if you guys are looking for anything and there's a disc only and an inbox copy, uh, please let us know which one you would like. Now, I spent a lot of time with this title. King of Fighters 99. Awesome, awesome game. Harry Potter, see you later. Go back to the classics with Madden 2001, 2002. In Medal of Honor, I guess. Oh, see you later, Metal Gear Solid. But why not Metal Slug X? All of the Metal Slug games. Oh, that's an excellent, so excellent much fun. game. Amazing. And you do not want to play these in the arcades. Not because of the quality at all. This is a quality title, especially in the arcades. But that thing will destroy your wallet in quarters. It's insane. Got tons of NASCAR games. Oh my goodness! This was this must have been the the time of NASCAR, huh? <laughs> the golden age of NASCAR is here. Uh, Namco Museum doesn't this have five titles on it? For only five, that's a dollar a game. Yeah, that that's is an amazing. E excellent deal. Excellent deal. Even more NFL games, but if NFL isn't your style. Uh, why, why not try NFL Blitz? Everybody likes NFL Blitz. Everyone likes NFL Blitz. The point of NFL Blitz to. is to assault everyone on the field and not pay attention to any rules at all. It's very fun and very fast-paced. Hey, why not try out something new, something, something more unique? How about racing? Well, that is truly Just a, unique, racing. a unique title. But if, you, if you're more like a teenager or something, and you know, kind of like a rad dude, you could try Razor Racing. That's a 90s tood right there. Apostrophe tood. Resident Evil Director's Cut. With the re-release -re of Resident Evil 2 coming out, uh, what is it, next year, um, I, I anticipate a lot of hype for some of the older Resident Evil titles to get back in the groove of things. That old horror style that we all love. We've got some good disc-only ones down here. Street like, Fighter the movie. That's not what I was pointing at. <laughs> Street Fighter Alpha 3, Strikers 1945. And Street Fighter the movie. And Probably the funniest the of the three titles. Absolutely. And boy, the fans are just clamoring outside <laughs> for our HSN stream. Thunderstrike 2, Toeball number 1, Tomb Raider, classic, surprisingly not included on the PlayStation Classic. Very strange omission, I think. Twisted Metal 3. This one is just called Verse. VS, okay. Take your chances if you like Versus games. Oh, and the Wild Thornberries. Oh, I was a big fan of this series. 
Oh, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! down here at the very bottom, our last title. I heard this Yu-Gi-Oh! game, I heard basically all the Yu-Gi-Oh! games are actually very fun. <sighs> Alright, you want to move on to the Japanese PS1? There is some cool stuff to see there. I think it's oh, pretty neat stuff. Sure thing. I will have you warned, though. The Japanese PlayStation 1 games will not work on your American PlayStation 1. These are region locked, That's so right. you will need a modded or Japanese system to play these. But I can go through this really quick. I'm just going to do one shot down in case anyone wants any of these. Anything stand out to you, Kelsey? Oh, yeah, there's some, some definitely some fun ones in here. How about these? Rockman, Rockman 2, and Rockman 3. These are the original Mega Man games on your PlayStation. This is a uh, this I heard from the Video Game History Foundation. Is I saying that right? Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I was speaking with the founder of it, and he was saying this kind of was the start of the era when uh, re remasters wanted to keep the original feel instead of like revamped graphics. People realized I want to see what I grew up with. I don't want your weird extra new graphics. Just give me the game. This one down here is pretty funny. Twin Goddesses is a fighting game with some pretty odd graphics. You're just going to have to look it up yourself to see for yourself, but this is an interesting one for sure. We also have Persona down here. Persona, the original? Original Persona on the Japanese PlayStation. Well, thank goodness that's coming to the PlayStation Classic, because I can't read Japanese very well. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Kelsey, uh, do you have any choices for next? I'm thinking either disc only section or Xbox 360 and PS3. Let's move over to the 360 and the PS3. Actually, I shouldn't have asked okay. because the disc only section is going to give you the same options as the 360 and PS3, but for cheaper prices. And as we did last time, we are extending the amazing offer of offering you half off on any of these disc only titles you see here today. And now that is just from PS2 all of these here, so PS2, PS3, Wii, Xbox, Xbox 360, uh, any of the titles you see hanging here, those are the ones that are half off, not anything else. So here we are, starting at the very tar top with Ark the Lad. Uh, look at this. G Guitar Hero 2 for only 50 cents. What a steal. BM Triple X. I will not tell your mom if you pick this one up for only $2 today. I'll tell your mom. Oh. She and I are good friends. <laughs> How about Butt Ugly Martians? Kelsey, didn't you play a part in this game? Uh, we also got nice, Constantine. That was <laughs> I, Keanu Reeves. As a teenage boy, I, I absolutely loved pretty much anything he was in. Uh, oh my goodness. My game right here for only $5. Katamari Damacy. I think that's actually We Love Katamari. And it is oh. mislabeled. Yeah. That's Which okay. is a better game. <laughs> Which is a better game. Making that a better deal. Um, Crazy Taxi, so much fun. Mega Man X8, I uh, hadn't played it, but it's pro it it's has a, a really a cool, great deal on it, really for sure. cool cover on it. Hot Shots Tennis for only one dollar. That one's selling right now. One dollar. See you later, Hot Shots Next Tennis. Ford vs Chevy for only fifty cents. We've got American Mega Man classics going. racing each other to the death. Red Faction Two. I remember this series for being um, innovative in that you could destroy your environments as you shot through them. Very fun. Katamari is gone. Of course it is. That did not take very long. Is it's that the crazy taxi? Another absolute classic game. Is that the suffering? I love the suffering. And it's that deal for only dark. six dollars, you will not be suffering at that price. We also got <laughs> uh, um, Nai. So this game, twenty-five dollars in box, fifteen disc only. How about seven fifty? That's a pretty crazy good deal on that rare I'm sure game. you could pick up a box and add a whole lot of value to that purchase. All right, moving on to the PlayStation 3 section here. I think I could do this one in just one go. Uh, Army of Two. Now, this series is a lot of fun if you're playing it co-op. I can't speak for playing it solo, but there just aren't enough modern co-op games. There really isn't, is there, Kelsey? There's there really isn't, not. thank There's you. There's absolutely not. <laughs> uh, and that one is, is totally awesome. Just sit there on the couch with your friend, crack open a couple of cold sodas, and have a great night. Resident Evil 5, same story. Great co-op game, not so great single player. Whole lot of fun. Um, 
Dark Souls already selling only three dollars for Dark Souls Two. Dollars. They'll pay for it in blood. Band Hero for just fifty cents. Fifty. That's cents. another incredible deal Great right deal. there. Very cool. And Suga and I, someone's taken up, taken us up on it for only seven dollars and fifty cents. That's the kind of a steal. Now remember earlier we had Final Fantasy X and X2 on display. How about both for only five dollars on your PlayStation 3 remastered in glorious high definition? What a steal! Now up here at the top, I do have just a couple PS4 games. Not the most amazing titles, but uh, if you're into sports, get them as cheap as possible. Possible awesome knots assemble. It's a couple Maddens, a couple MLBs. On the Wii U, we got Just Dance 2015 and Zombie U. Zombie U, actually a fun game. Uh, great with the with the uh, gamepad there. And Blood Bowl 2, again, another title if you're not into sports that, uh, that is a whole lot of fun. And then finally, Metal Gear Survive that I know a lot of us just want to forget about, but if you have a morbid curiosity, here it is for only seven dollars and fifty cents all right moving on to the Wii section here Whew. guys once again thanks so much for being patient with us we do have our volunteer our help here I guess not really volunteers because we are paying them <laughs> uh, we have our assistants here helping out uh, they're pretty backed up right now so maybe a little bit slow to get back to you we probably won't answer any real specific questions right now as we try to get through everyone's order we appreciate your patience so much Hope you guys are finding some good deals here. And I'd like to remind everyone who's purchasing these games that you are getting free shipping when you subscribe to the DS Koopa channel. You can use your Twitch Prime subscription, which if you have Amazon Prime is totally free to attach to your account. You just have to do a little bit of annoying uh, computer work on that. But uh, it, it's not that hard. They, the guys at Twitch, they make it nice and simple for you. Go ahead and subscribe and you will get free shipping just like you do through Amazon. That is within the United States. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Yeah. <laughs> international, it's like 20. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out for you international guys later, but anticipate if you're getting kind of a, a normal amount of stuff, you know, a handful of things, it's going to be probably at least 20 bucks. I'd just like to point out a couple original Xbox games that I think are really cool. Uh, Soul Calibur 2 with a cameo from Spawn. Very fun. Knights of the Old Republic, one of the best game, best RPGs I think ever. That's what I hear all the time. And this will actually play on your Xbox One. Very cool. And that's only five dollars. All right, moving on to our last section here, the Xbox 360 section. Again, all of these games are half off, and a lot of these are marked as they play on Xbox One as well. Army of Two, again, an awesome co-op experience. Play it with your friends one evening and knock that game out. So much fun. Madden 12 for only 50 cents. Come on. That's a no-brainer. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Now this is a no sarcasm no-brainer. $2.50. Uh, if you haven't played it, it plays a lot like Diablo but with Marvel characters. Um, and again, it's, it's more of a co-op experience, I think. So much fun. You cut that down. Somebody goofed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see.
Oh! Is it good? Okay. Nope, good, we're back. Sorry. Sorry oh about gosh. that, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a little bit of hiccups here. Sorry about that. Um, so in case you didn't hear me, just give us a, a couple moments, a couple minutes here and let everybody kind of catch up. Um, our operators are very busy there in the back, so um, I'm just going to give them a second to breathe and kind of try catch to catch up, up a get, little get bit. Get your orders put back yeah. together. Thank you, Flying Burrito Man, for the subscription with Twitch Prime. You are getting free domestic shipping tonight. That's right. So if you guys haven't been here to our store before, I assume most of you have heard of us if you're here tonight, but maybe you haven't. Maybe you're here from some other place. So this is Pinkerella Games. We're in Seattle, Washington. There are two stores here. We are the owners. Normally we do not sell anything or ship anything online, but Cody had this great idea to try to do a home shopping network type thing. So we're trying it out. This is only our second time doing it, and so there's, there's a couple. little hiccups but we're working out the king looking for uh, due to the sheer amount of people here and we appreciate that so much uh, we will not be able to take specific requests we can't go out and find things oh. I think we're good so just to repeat that real quick, uh, we won't be able to take specific requests just due to the amount of people here, but we really appreciate it. Just anything you see that you want, let DS Koopa Checkout know, and we will be grabbing it for you. We will send you a PayPal invoice at the end of the night. Honestly, it'll probably be well after all of you are asleep, but you can always pay in the morning, pay it the day after, we'll get you taken care of. And I'd like to clarify that you don't actually need an account with PayPal to pay your invoice. That's it's right. just paid through them. You'll get an, an email saying you owe this much type in that credit card number and bam you're good to go so while we're standing here i want to show off some of our really cool keychains because we have a lot all right sounds good to me kelsey uh are we are we moving on to our deal three? Oh no i was just gonna okay cool, off, cool 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 i was just gonna show off some cool new ones that came in that i think some oh, of the people in the chat are so really much, gonna like yes. so we just got straight from japan these really cute EV Evolution keychains, and we do have one of every EV Evolution. Every single. One. Maybe you can pan the camera down here. Some are, I'll, some I'll try are, to set them all up. Some are cuter than others. Umbreon showing a little bit of booty, a little bit of sass. I, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. And also, if you're new here and curious why we talk like this, uh, we are doing kind of a parody. We don't usually act like this. Yeah, we're not <laughs> slimy salesmen, actually, but. <laughs> um. But yeah, so if you guys are a fan of Pokemon here, these are just $6 each. They are really, really cute. Uh, if you need something for scale, I'm going to put a pen next to these guys. They're actually like a pretty good size, made of a really nice rubber. Um, and all here, the way Here's from a Japan. water bottle for scale. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> these tags got messy. Look at that, and they're rubber, completely water resistant. No need to worry about a thing. These things are invincible. All right, well, I'm not going to give anyone who just ordered one of these one of the wet ones, but I will set some of these aside for anyone who's looking for one. These are some really cute keychains here. Yes, thank you for cleaning up your own mess, Cody. I appreciate that. Not a that. problem. And really, is there a mess? They're just wet. It's it's not a big deal. It That's rains. true. It these happens. are pretty hardy keychains. I will say that. I'm gonna show off one more set of keychains before we move on here. Just cause we're all sitting here, we're having a good time. I think it's a good to chill just for a minute, right? Yes, absolutely. And I think after this, we'll move on to the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom sections. I know those are very popular. We've kind of uh, taken it slow on the current, like more more modern sections. And I think we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the other ones now. All right, guys, now here's some you probably don't wanna pour water on. But these are some really, really cute unicorn plush keychains. They've got beans inside of them, so they're really nice, high quality. Again, all the way from Japan. We've got them in a bunch of different colors here. We've got teal, we've got lime green, pink, blue, orange, and purple. These are really, really cute. Would make great stocking stuffers, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. If you're thinking ahead to Christmas, I know I'm not. But if you're smart, you, you are. And these are going to be 
perfect for that. In so many different colors, so cute. What other kind of cute keychains from Japan do we have, Kelsey? Do you want, do we want to show off our next flash deal? I think we should show off our final flash deal of the night before it gets too late for our East Coast guys. Let's take a look. So we're going to take a small break on that, actually, because I just realized that our oh thing God. is still full of the GameCube oh. adapters. Okay. So. <laughs> Never mind. So it'll be just a minute. In the meantime, let's take a look at the Super Nintendo wall, and we will take a look at our third and final flash deal of the evening right after that. So let's go check out those Super Nintendo games. Again, we are restocked from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and the wall is looking tight. We have got some great titles over there. Let's go. Uh, go for it, I, if you can handle that, yeah, Kelsey. Kelsey. All right, Lolo, you are on speakerphone on the Home Shopping Network. How are you doing tonight? Thank you tonight? for the call tonight, Lolo. I'm doing pretty good. What about you guys? We are a doing... Bit, uh, a little busy. <laughs> it's a little busy in here, but you know what? We are doing fantastic. We're just looking at the Super Nintendo games right now. Lolo, what's your favorite Super Nintendo game? Okay, uh, Super Mario World? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think her favorite no, Super Nintendo game is Splatoon. What do you think? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Lola's gonna absolutely love our final flash sale of the evening, then. Absolutely. A worm? Except, oh, yeah, that that, except that that's not part of the flash sale, but... But, you, but maybe it will be. Just for you, Lola. Lolo is fantastic, and we love her. And if you want some good deals tonight, you should be nice to Lolo. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely, yeah, Lolo. I have an. Im one, yes. You know. Very smart. Because, you know. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your call, Lolo. Right. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you for thank you for purchasing with us. Thanks, Lolo. Have a good night. Yeah, you guys too. <laughs> All right. We're already getting through a lot of these right here. We've got. I'm just going to go through one more time really slow just because I had kind of sped through this yeah. right down the middle here. And it looks like I'm going to steal one right from the middle of your... See you later, NBA Jam. And guys, if you're just joining in, we are only going to be going through every section once. Uh, unfortunately, if you miss it, we will not probably have time to go through anything else. We do appreciate you being here, but... There's a lot of store to see, and we're trying to get everyone... I'm seeing some Fs. Satisfied. Can you check on that, please? And the Super Game Boy is out of here. No, it's okay. Completely forgot to look at the higher sections here. We have accessories for all of our consoles. This I can highly recommend. This is the Retro Style Mouse for the Super Nintendo. Plugs directly into your Super Nintendo. And it's a laser mouse. It actually is much, much better than the original mouse that came out for the uh, Super Nintendo. And with that, you can play Mario Paint, SimCity, a couple other short list of games. It is a whole lot of fun, and it works so well. All right, I've got quite a few we've got to grab here from, from orders real quick. We've got Final Fantasy Mystic Quest selling. As you can see, this is another one with the new save battery that's in right, it. That's right, a brand new battery. You're going to be able to enjoy that game for a whole another decade. Hopefully, that's enough time to beat that. All right, Kirby's we've got Avalanche all, of our, here. all of our first party Nintendo games here going. No love for Mario's preschool fun? Oh, that's the best one. Mario, Mario's Time Machine? The Unknown Mario series. Everyone knows Mario All-Stars, Mario Kart, and Super Mario World. Who cares? That's old news. Mario Preschool Fun is where it's at.
over here, we have the Japanese Super Nintendo games, also known as the Super Famicom. Right here, starting off strong with air management. It's kind of like a Diner Dash style, chaotic um, airplane managing game. And Air 88, that is a, uh, a shoot 'em up, I believe. And something very interesting, uh, Barbarossa. Who's that? That's crazy. You would never see that on an American console. <laughs> And Breath of Fire, I know Base P was hoping to pick up an SNES copy of Breath of Fire. If it's any consolation, you can get it on Super Famicom here. Quite a bit cheaper. It will be in Japanese. These will not naturally fit in your Super Nintendo. But there is quite an easy modification you can do that will ensure this will fit right into your Super Nintendo and work flawlessly. You can do it at home yourself with a pair of pliers, believe it Very or not. Very easy. All right, Barbarossa is selling. See you later, Barbarossa. Goodbye, Hitler. Here we have Final Fantasy V and VI. Again, I'm sorry to keep saying it, but new save battery, what a deal. That is not a service you get everywhere. And uh, one that I'm sure people will really love, Fire Emblem. Totally. Fire Emblem for the Super Famicom. Guys, if you are just joining us, once again, you can message DS Koopa Checkout if you're interested in any of these lovely games. They are pretty backed up right now, so it may take them a little bit to get back to you, but rest assured, they are, we are grabbing all these for you. It's going to be on a first-come, first-served basis. We will not be able to search for any games that you're not currently seeing on the screen, unfortunately, so please make sure you get them in as you're seeing them. We can't be taking individual requests, although we would love to. We appreciate appreciate you guys being here so much. There's just a whole lot of you. Super Donkey Kong, or as it's known in America, Donkey Kong Country. We have Super Donkey Kong, Super Donkey Kong 2, and Super Donkey Kong 3. The whole collection, for a fraction of the price that they sell for on the original American Super Nintendo. Same story, different game, Super Mario World, with a much more interesting cover. Instead of just Mario riding Yoshi, you got the whole gang here. You got Comic, Bowser, a little baby Yoshi there, Luigi, or Green Mario sitting there in the back. Super Mario RPG, total classic, totally hard to play in Japanese. Puyo Puyo, Super Puyo Puyo, this is a really fun puzzle game. And this one didn't come to America, am I right? It did not come to America on the Super Nintendo, at least. Down here, Super Scope 6, a game that was really meant to be experienced in Japanese, I think. <laughs> and Yu Yu Hakusho 2. Uh, Kelsey, did you voice this game? I did not voice this game. No, this game came out before I was born. Okay. All right, Kelsey, what section would you like to take a look at next? Or maybe we should move on to our third flash sale of the evening. All right. Let me go check real quick to make sure our third flash sale is ready. It is. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's, ooh, shit. Got my tripod. All right. <laughs> let's get that flash sale going. All right, folks, this is our third and final very special deal of the evening. And guys, I, and I think you're going to love it. you tagging DS Koopa in the chat. Uh, you do have to actually whisper at them. I'm sorry if that wasn't very clear, but we will not be able to see anything you've ordered unless you whisper it at DS Koopa, DS Koopa checkout. And our last deal of the night is going to be a really exciting one, so I hope you guys are getting ready for this. This is going to be a really fun one if you guys are looking to get some little gifts for yourself or for your friends. Perfect for Christmas. Perfect for Christmas. The we know holidays. it's a little little far away, but maybe you're one of those people who's on top of it. Are you one of those people who's on top of it, Cody? Absolutely not. Never have, probably never will be until thanks to our stream tonight. Here we are, Kelsey. It's our final deal of the evening. All right, guys, so let me tell you a little bit about these. We have a lot of keychains in the store. All of them come straight from Japan. We order all of these from Japanese catalogs. So they're really nice, high quality. Normally, all of these keychains here sell for $4.99 each. Tonight, they're going to be only $3 each. So these are a really incredible deal for great little stocking stuffers or great little gifts for yourself. I know you probably want a little Eevee charm on your cell phone or on your bag. 
These are really great value. We also have some really cute, just like little desserts here. And you know, Japan's really great at providing us with some cute kawaii, if you will, keychains here. So these are all just some really neat rainbow ones. I'm particularly fond of the snow cone right here. I wouldn't recommend eating it, but it sure does look appetizing, doesn't it, mm -hmm. Cody? It's hard to resist, really. What's really hard for me to resist here are these awesome Dragon Ball figurines. They are so cool, so spiky. Um, I remember some of the earlier ones of these had very sharp hair that would actually hurt to be on your keychain. They fixed that problem. <laughs> feels great. It's awesome. So, Cody, tell me who all of these Dragon Ball Z people are. Now, this is Frieza, who's dead. <laughs> this is Goten. This is Timebreaker Bardock. This is Vegito Super Saiyan God form. Wow. This is Vegito Normal. This is pretty impressive, this is actually. This is Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I that think, sounds or Vegeta. Um, I, I think it's... I think this is Vegeta. Uh, Android 17, this is the Ranger version from Dragon Ball Super. This is Trunks, Super Saiyan, of course. And finally, we've got Burger. He's part of the Ginyu Force. All right. And if we go over here, of course, we've Who's got this? some Pokemon here. I don't this is know. the only one I didn't know. I don't know. Uh, we do have some really cute Pokemon here. We've got Lugia. Great legendary Pokemon. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Lugia, Lugia. Oh, you said, like, Lugia. Okay. <laughs> Lugia, Eevee. Lugia, Potato, Potato, Eevee, Ave, <laughs> E, Vi, who knows? Pichu, uh, the new guy from the new movie, the His newest Pokemon. His name is Pokemon. Zara Aura. Zara Aura. And there he is very powerful, so I hear. And then, of course, we've got the classic Pikachu. How could you forget this electrifying deal for only $3? All right. Did you want to add to that? As I mentioned earlier to Lolo, I thought we would include some of the Splatoon ones. All right. Just for you, Lolo, we are going to be adding some Splatoon weapons to this as well. I think she already bought these. Uh, so these are really cool Splatoon weapon keychains. We, we got have the splatling gun splatling here. Splatling guns. In three different colors. We have some dualies, dualies in three oh different my colors. Gosh. So cool. I'm a fan of the dualies. I'm not great at the game. But uh, I do That's love I sure. do love the dualies. <laughs> and of course, the ever popular splat roller. The noob tube. So for a limited time only, these are also only three dollars each. Now look at all of these fantastic keychains. You could really be walking around in style with all of these. It looks awesome. Thank you very much, Kelsey. Anything else with the keychains that you'd like to say? I think that's about it. I think we have pretty much shown off all there is to show off with these fantastic keychains. All right, and we are back. So, where should we go next? Do we want to hit... Uh, were you going to do 360 and PS3, or are we going to skip those because we did the disc-only walls? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do the 360 games real quick. I'm just right. going to speed right through we'll them. Speed right through them. A section I know people are big fans of is the Nintendo 64. Such a cool console with very unique games, very replayable games. I will get to that right after the 360 section. So let's hit it. We missed it last time. And then we'll move on to some handhelds. I see some people yep. want to see the handheld lots games in the of, chat. Lots of handhelds. We will go straight to the handhelds right after the 64. Okay, guys? Let's get going. No time to lose. Kelsey, can you start? All right, guys. We are going to head over. Hopefully I can do this myself. We're going to head over to the 360 section. Take a look at some of the wonderful titles here. I'm no good with a camera, so I sure hope that you guys can see this. No. All right, here we are, starting with... I'm just going to go through really quick. There's Alien Isolation, very cool. Those Army of Two titles I mentioned earlier. The whole Assassin's Creed roster. The entire shebang. There you are. Every flavor of Battlefield that you could imagine. Borderlands, awesome game. Bioshock, pretty much every Call of Duty, I believe. And most of these are priced pretty low. I would say almost all of them are under $10. Many, many of them are in the $5 or $6 range. Grand Theft Auto V. I played way too much of that. I played it so much, I played it twice. That is a lot. Here we've got all the Halo games here, and every last one of those works on your Xbox One as well as your Xbox 360. 
I am seeing a couple questions about the keychains real quick, so I want to address them real quick. Uh, only the keychain colors and styles you saw on the platter are the ones that are available. So if there's anything you're looking for there, you can just let us know. And if you're just joining us, unfortunately, we will not be revisiting any sections. We can only go through these once as it's already... We've already been doing this for a couple hours now, believe it or not. Well, about an hour and 20 minutes. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still on, I'm still on daylight savings time, apparently. But we uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, message DS Koopa Checkout. Send a whisper to DS Koopa Checkout if you see anything you like. We will not be able to, unfortunately, look for individual games for you. There's just too much going on. But we really appreciate you being here. And as I said, there's a quick look through the Xbox 360 section. Let's hit the 64 section, uh, both Japanese and American. And then we'll move on to the handheld games that what you all want to see so much. What a great idea. Here we are. So many of these can be played in English for a much lower, or not in English, excuse me, without knowing any Japanese at a much, much lower price. And these, again, are region locked. They will not work on your American 64. However, it is a very, very easy modification to do. I actually have a YouTube video on it on the Pink Gorilla YouTube channel. Very easy to do. Just requires a little bit of a, a little bit of cut in the plastic simple process and then you could be playing your games at a much lower price mario kart 64 for only 30 dollars all the mario party games for 15. only 15. Go. we've got some really really good deals here as well as some cool games that you might not might not know um as for ones you might not know uh here is the original pokemon stadium that we never got in america uh it's not a great title <laughs> here's the one we got in america first you know how we got Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Well, they actually got three of them, but uh, this one isn't very great. So um, if you just want to add it to your collection, I completely understand. I'm the same way. It's in my collection. But uh, I could say you probably will not be playing it much past your initial curiosity. Here we have an interesting one. Puyo Puyon Party and Puyo Puyo Sun 64. Neither of these came to America. Neither of them needs Japanese knowledge. Star Fox 64. Listen to Star Fox sound more serious than you could possibly imagine. Instead of a cocky pilot, he sounds like a an honorable man. I don't know. We've got a bunch of the powerful pro Yaku games going. Very these cool. Are, these are some cool Japanese baseball games. Here's Super Mario 64, a version we did not get here in America. This is the Rumble version. They added, they uh, fixed a couple glitches, added a couple glitches, and also added a Rumble feature to the game. They I understand that glitches. speedrunners actually use this version of the game to play. Uh, here we got Super Smash Bros. 64, looking much cuter than uh, than our cover. Here's Ultraman Col wait, what is that called? Ultraman Battle Coliseum. Or oh no, Ultraman Battle Collection, excuse me, 64. Uh, it plays a lot like Pokemon Stadium, but with Ultraman uh, kind of characters. The Japanese superheroes. Uh, I got Yoshi's story, Majora's Mask, and Ocarina of Time here for a much lower price than their American counterparts. Alright, Ultraman and the Puyo Puyo Party game, both of those. Sayonara. Pretty cool, pretty cool games. All right, on to the American ones. No questions here. You know what these are, folks. Play them in English. Play them on your American 64. No confusion there. Very easy. Just holler if you need any. And it looks like Bomberman 64 is already selling. I didn't even see this one come in. Nice. Blast Corpse. This is one of my favorites. So much fun. You play a, dis a demolition team who has to uh, destroy a bunch of stuff to get out of the way of a, of a, a package heading to its destination. So it's just, it's kind of like, hmm, not really like Rampage, but it, it's just it's fun. You like, fun. You like destroying stuff? There's your game. Easy. Gex. I love the Gex games. What do you know about Gex? What do I know about him? I know that he's got some of that 90s to it as well. And it's a fun platform. You can fight me on that one. Ocarina of Time, one of the hidden gems on the Nintendo 64. Again, new save battery inside. You might not have known. Some 64 games do use save batteries, and that's one of them.
There's a Namcoon Museum on just about every system. But the N64 is no exception. So if you need to play some of those Namco classics like Pac-Man, that's and this a good one place luckily includes exactly which games come with it: Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, Pole Position, and Dig Dug. Rampage 2 is out of here. We got Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, another NFL Blitz title. Or take your football a little more seriously with a little bit of quarterback club here or the Madden series. Look at that. Madden 2002 with a black cartridge. That's intense. I believe all of the Star Wars games on the original 64 were just total hits. So much fun, every last one of them. Here's one that I loved growing up. Turok, Turok 2, and Turok Rage Wars. My oh. mommy wouldn't let me play Turok. <laughs> and it's totally understandable. These are very bloody, very violent games. You wouldn't believe it. Um, I like dinosaurs, though, so I always wanted to play these games. Well, there's a lot less of a focus on the dinosaurs when you get into Turok 2 and Rage Wars, but it's more like aliens, with some horrific alien weaponry. Rage Wars in particular is a good alternative to Goldeneye. It has a lot of like very unique, weird weapons, and it has that multiplayer, four-player uh, battle arena style, first-person shooter action. We also have Nintendo 64 controllers available here. Every single one of these is uh, fixed and verified by our very own cyborg, a really tall guy you might have seen running around here. Uh, he is our repair guy and he does an amazing job making sure each and every one of these sticks is perfect. What do you think? Yeah, um, they are tight, they are responsive, they just snap right back into place now. Love it. Tight and responsive, just like you'd like your lady to be. Whoa. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Mixed audience. <Kelsey. laughs> <laughs> All right, so over here uh, we have our Game Boy games. I think people were pretty excited about this section. Let's see. Let's start over here with original Game Boy games. Tetris, probably the... Isn't this the best-selling game on the original Game Boy, Kelsey? It absolutely is, and that's because it was bundled with the original Game Boy. Oh, well, there you go. That's cheating, Tetris. I have fond memories of playing uh, NBA Jam, Golf, uh, Pokemon, of course, and Tetris, uh, as well as Super Mario Land. And uh, you might be wondering, hey, where are the Super Mario Lands? Where are the Pokemon? Don't worry, guys. We're getting to those. First, I'm going through the... Uh, these are all the games that are under $10. Don't worry. We're getting to the over $10 games in just a second. Some of the, some of the bigger hits, if you will. Uh, all right. On to Game Boy Advance. We got... We got a bunch of 90s nostalgia here with Dexter's Laboratory. Dora, the, well, Dora's still around, isn't she? Bratz, Drake and Josh. Care, Be oh, Care Bears is still around. <laughs> and really, that's more like 80s nostalgia. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron. Another Namco Museum title. Namco's putting his museum on every game. And guys, once again, if you're just joining us, appreciate you being here. We are unable to fulfill uh, individual requests. Just looking at you know what we're showing you here, that's what you're going to be able to order. We're going to show you everything we got, but unfortunately we can't go uh, hunting and pecking for, for other games. Although we really appreciate it. Love you guys are here. There are a lot of you, though. Here we are with some of the more expensive titles, but uh, with, with the cost comes quality. So we got Atomic Park. Extra Bases, which is more of a rare title than like an, an in-demand title, but it's pretty uncommon on the original Game Boy. Mortal Kombat, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. We got Mario Land, Solomon's Club, Wario Land, um, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong Country. All great titles on the original Game Boy. Mario Golf there, which is funny. It actually plays more like an RPG than a, well, a bit of a both. So it's a, it's a precursor to Golf Story, sort of. But, but not really. <laughs> we also got Pokemon Gold, Silver, and the trading card game. Such an awesome game. And we've got some pretty interesting Japanese ones over here, too. Especially, uh, well, I'm, I'm really fond of the Hammer and Harry series. They're a really fun uh, kind of platformer 
Uh, what would you call it? It's a little bit beat em up, a little bit platformer. Never right? played it once, oh, okay. unfortunately. All right, well. But I can speak for this one here. This is called Hitori de Dekirumon. So that is an RPG game about a little girl who is um, fighting like food. She, she like, wants to be a master chef, and she's fighting like uh, carrots and onions and whatnot uh, in a Final Fantasy style game. Very cool. Moving on to the Game Boy Advance section. I know everyone loves this. Uh, oh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do something fancy with the camera here. Are you? Yep. Can you grab Pokemon Trading Card Game while you're in there? Yeah, I will. We got Crash and Spyro Super Pack, Final Fight 2, Golden Sun, uh, Gradius Galaxies, Hamtaro Ham Ham Games. That one's actually fun. It totally is. Mega Man Zero, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Sapphire, all the hits, Sonic Advance, Sonic Battle, which is actually a Sonic fighting game. Uh, Super Robot Tyson, and Super Mario Advance, of course. One moment as I move over to the Nintendo DS section. Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. Never played it. Kelsey, you have any, any thoughts on that one? No, I don't, but you know, Mario's pretty short to be much good at basketball, so we'll see how that goes. I would play as DK. Whoever throws the ball the hardest, I think he's going to be the winner. And uh, my camera trickery is proving quite difficult as I get into the right <laughs> side of this case. So I'm just going to show you an angle from out here. And Cut you the can even see oh. us in the window. My favorite here on the 3DS is Kid Icarus Uprising. Only $22, a total steal. Easily the best game on the 3DS in my opinion. That is a fantastic game. And as we get down to the bottom here, oh, are you? I'm sorry. Get down to the bottom here. We do have some Wonder Swan games over here for those yeah. of you Wonder Swan weirdos like me. We do have some Japanese Pokemon games. Now these are, as you can see, much cheaper than the American ones, and they do still have the new save battery in them. So if you're feeling confident that you can play through Pokemon without the text, this is a real cheap way to do it. Worth the gamble. Could be fun. We also got, oh, what is that? Is that Oracle of Ages or Seasons? I think that's Ages. We got Oracle of Ages in Japanese there on the Game Boy Color for only $15. We've also got one of the Donkey Kong games there. We've got Yoshi. We've got Wario Land. We've got Super Mario 2, or Super Mario Land 2, the six gold coins. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. That one's a pretty fun one. It's got a, what do you call that, a gyroscope in there? That's right, Kelsey, a gyroscope. And it has that beautiful pink cartridge. Pink translucent cartridge. It looks awesome. It is quite nice. And if you guys are interested in starting to get some boxed games here, there are some really great and cheap Japanese Game Boy games here. There's even a Hamtaro game. Everyone likes Hamtaro. Totoko Hamu Taro. We also got DigiDrive. Now that's a unique one. This is part of a kind of like artistic Game Boy Advance series. It's, um, I don't know how else to describe it, Kelsey. Are you, you're more of a collector of these kind of things than me. Can you describe them any better? Sorry, describe what? DigiDrive and the other artistic... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the Bit Generations games. They're, yeah, I would call them kind of simple experimental games. Um, kind of in the same, it's not like Katamari, but it's in the same vein where it's a totally, it's a game unlike anything else that's got a pretty simple concept, but really fun to pick up and play. Nice. All right, moving over to the DS section here. I'll start with the cartridge-only DS games here. These ones, of course, are going to be cheaper than their boxed counterparts. And there are a couple good standout ones here. Puzzle Day Harvest Moon, kind of cool, kind of cool. Asphalt, an actual 3D racing game for the DS. You don't see those every day. Uh, Gunpei DS. Kelsey loves Gunpei. It is a really fun puzzle game. I highly recommend it for only $3. Super Scribble Knots, a total hit. Uh, write anything you like, including adjectives, in a book to spawn it into your world and help you solve puzzles. It is a ton of fun. Trauma Center Under the Knife, uh, simulated surgery, but in the most insane situations you could imagine. Uh, in one scene, you are on a plane with turbulence, and an alien has abduct has crawled inside of someone, and you need to dissect that guy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. That it, sounds pretty wild. Very anime. Pretty wild, Cody.
over here we have got uh, Freedom Wings. That one's pretty cool. Fossil Fighters Champions. Oh, I completely skipped Final Fantasy Fables, Chocobo Tales, and Ring of Fate. And now those are sealed games, too. Brand new. Oh, my goodness. Is that the Jonas? No, that's Camp Rock. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know my Jonas Brothers. Wait, maybe it is the Jonas Brothers. Is it? It looks like I them. think that's the Jonas Brothers. I think it is, too. We know a whole lot about the Jonas Brothers here. Did you know one of the Jonas Brothers has diabetes and was the poster Has child. a diabetes? I said has diabetes. Oh, okay. And was the uh, spokesman for the Bayer Digit Blood Glucose Monitoring Device for the Nintendo DS. Sounds like something I could have lived without knowing, but thank you, Kelsey. It is an interesting <laughs> fun fact. And now, how did a 3DS game sneak into our DS section? I don't know. Do we, we have some Do we need to fire here. someone right now? Live on stream? Uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Very cool title here. Let me just get that one out of the way. Thank you. New Super Mario Bros. Total must-have if you like that classic Mario style with a little bit of a new uh, new physics to it. And one of my favorite series ever, the Professor Layton series. Please make another on the Switch. And the Curious Village. I think this this might have been like the first one, actually. I think this is the first Layton game. That is the first Layton So get, game, get started. Yeah, get started there. Get started right with the first in the series. Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. It's a strange series. What is this here? Sunny with a chance so random, Kel? So random. I heard this. you're a big fan of this series? Well, I am quite random. They call me the Penguin of Doom. Holds up Spork. Absolutely, absolutely holds up Spork. All right, and on to the 3DS games. Codename Steam, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and Monster Hunter Generations. Such an amazing series. Conception 2. Now, this is an odd one. This one, you go to a school and um, find a mate and have children and then use the children to fight. Yeah, and it's not quite what you think because, you know, it just kind of does an anime song and dance and a fully formed child appears. But, you know, that that is Japan. That is, that is some... That's a game. Pokemon Sun, and my favorite, I think, in the whole series. If not Heart Gold, it's going to be X. I Pokemon love X and Y. X and y. Are pretty good, absolutely. Now, is this this is Resident Evil Revelations, which is a very fun. It's still that action Resident Evil that some people don't like, but what is this? This is the mistyped version. Kind of uncommon. You'll notice here they spelled it Revelations. 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 That is your word of the day, folks. Revelations. Super Mario 3D Land, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, Virtue's Last Reward. Like, that's I a fun game. love this series. This is the sequel to 999, which you may have heard of. It's an escape room style, very trippy narrative game. It's it's a lot of fun. All, All right, right. Well, let's we have sold let's. A whole lot of uh, DS games there. Do we want to go through some of our other? We have a couple more keychain sections to go sure, through, let's and look another at the... entire plushie section. Sounds good to me. Let's look at that. You want to start here? Sure, let's start right here. So, all right. Guys, this is a pretty special section here. We've got all kinds of really, really cute things here. These are all going to make great stocking stuffers. I know They're it, especially, gifts. I think, for your mom, your sister, any ladies in your life are going to go absolutely crazy for this stuff. It's so cute, so unique. You won't find it anywhere else unless you're on the other side of the world, Japan. That's exactly where most of this stuff comes from. And it is so cute. I love toucans, flamingos. A big bird fan, but uh, if you're not, you're more into you're more into unicorns. We also got you covered here. Maybe some puppies. We got everything. Maybe some of these look like your dogs. And actually, why don't we head over here to the best puppies? Oh, these my are goodness. so Cube dogs. soft. I can't even I can't express it to you guys through the stream how incredibly soft and squishy these are. But they feel great. So soft. Here we got some hedgehogs. Hedgehogs with a, is that fruit on its head? Is that an apple? What's he doing with an apple? What a weird puppy. Or hedgehog. <laughs> Speaking of puppies, soft little cute $4 plushies here. Or uh, puppies here. Um, and we got so many like bizarre cute ones. Like this pineapple hamster. What's going on with that guy? He is really cute. School supplies. Maybe you've got a teacher in your life. There you go. Perfect gift. Smiling pencil. 
that'll smiling get, that'll scissors. That'll get you an A. I would give you an A if you Absolutely. gave me one of these. All right, we've got a toucan and a blue bird selling. Both of those really, really cute choices. Tons of cute little animals here. Pink elephants, uh, pandas, lions with the soft mane around them. And just about everything here, most of the things here are five or six dollars. There's a couple exceptions, a few are four, a few are seven, but nothing is more than that. Oh my gosh, these are perfectly adorable. The giraffes and the rhinos, look at those. Absolutely. So awesome. Some great little zoo animals here. We've also got dolphins. We've got just one little shark remaining. Look at how cute he is. We've got a camel. A camel. So cute. And we've got some little, like, macaroons here. We've got some donuts. Really, really cute little dessert items here. Oh, my gosh. And if you like the birds at the beginning, here you are. Birds with mail. So strange. So unique, They're so cute. They're letters. And you know what? If you're a Harry Potter fan, you can just sit this on your on your uh, bag or whatever and pretend that this is your Hogwarts acceptance letter. There you go. Because it is being delivered by Owl. And look at this guy. Clearly Rowlet. Not Rowlet, but clearly Rowlet. <laughs> he is a truly a good boy. We've got some puppies here, too. These are some really great soft puppies. Look at these guys. These little palms in tiny little bags. All right. Kels, what are you thinking of looking at next? Well, you know, we should do Vita real quick. Oh, Vita, absolutely. That's a unique section. Not a lot of Vita games out there in the world. We do our best here by supplying limited run, uh, as it's known, limited run titles for the Vita. So uh, we'll start with our two cartridge-only games. This one is, uh, is this... Oh my gosh, what game is this? <laughs> Arcana Heart 3 Love Max. Never heard of it, but we got the cartridge-only version here. Uh, Madden 13, the only Madden game on the Vita. Very uncommon. And, um, yeah, here we are down the list. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these are sealed. A lot of these come from Limited Run. We got 2064 read-only memories and Tick Wheel Lost. Kelsey, while I'm going through these, can you explain what Limited Run is? Yeah, so Limited Run Games is a really cool little company that basically takes games that are otherwise digitally distributed only and they make a small print run of them. So if you're a collector or someone who just likes to feel like they physically own the thing, I know I do, then this is a great option. They are, of course, a little bit more expensive than the games themselves cost digitally because there's the cost of uh, printing it and, you know, putting it on a Vita cartridge, but it's well worth it because you get to keep the game, and it's also pretty limited. Most of these are less than 5,000 games of these in existence. I see the average is like 28,000, or 2,800, excuse me. All right, there you are, the Vita games. Oh, we do have a couple Japanese titles here. Army Corps of Hell, Project Diva F, uh, Make You, Cross Blood Infinity, Sangoku Musou 4 Empires, that's Dynasty Warriors Empires, uh, Tokiden, that's Demon Monster Hunter, and Tokiden 2, which is Demon Monster Hunter 2. All right. Where should we go next, Cody? Should we go, go check out the other plushies on the other side? Uh, yeah, if you could take over on that, I'm going to take a quick break. Do you think you can handle that? I can do my best. All right, let's go. I'm dropping everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here you go. Just uh, point it, and you're good. All right, guys. I'll be right back. One moment. So right now we are looking at the remainder of, just about the remainder of all of the pl uh, plushies right here. Uh, let me get the camera off so we can take a closer look. As you guys saw earlier, we had some really cute Pokemon plushies, high quality Pokemon plushies from Japan. We have even more over here. We still have a Vulpix left. We have this great Dragonite. We've got Alolan Raichu. Um, there's also these really cute Kirby plushies. Now let me try to show you guys some prices. The Kirbys, this is the cheapest one right here at 13 The rest of these are 15 or $16. Most of these Pokemon are 18 or $20 each. And of course we've got more Mario plushies down here if you didn't see those earlier. We do have some Pikmin. And some more Animal Crossing plushies. We've got Brewster, we've got Cap'n, we've got Porter, 
More great Link plushies. Toad, Mario, we got Peach and Daisy down here. They look like they're telling each other some secrets. Why don't you spin this way, Peach? There we go. Toadette. All kinds of wonderful plushies over there. I'm going to show you guys the Pokemon one more time because I think those are really the highlights here. They are totally high quality and it, it makes me nostalgic for the beginning of the stream when we went through the plushies in the front case. I think we might hit that again in a bit. But, uh, oh my goodness, I can see so many people have picked up our awesome plushies already. Uh, my personal favorite, I don't know if you already showed these off, Kelsey, but the Monster Hunter plushies. I did not show them they off make, yet. They make the cutest, or the, the most ferocious monsters as cute as possible. Here we have Rajang. You might not know him if you've only played Monster Hunter World, but trust me, he'll be added and he is vicious. He is, he is as bad as it gets. He is now, a Super Saiyan. Cody, there's one more thing that we haven't shown off yet, and that's shirts. Shirts? Did you want to show off some shirts? I can't. That's criminal. I apologize to everyone watching right now that we have not shown off shirts. It's, uh, it's insane. Now, let me explain our shirts while Cody goes and grabs some of them. Uh, we do, first of all, we have sizes up to 5X on which ones? Uh, the green and pink. On, okay, on two of the shirts, we're going to have sizes up to 5X. The other ones, we have sizes up to 2 or 3X, depending on inventory here. Uh, so there are a lot of options here. These are American Apparel. They're very, very soft. We take a lot of pride in making sure that our T-shirts are comfortable. And if you live around here, if you plan on ever visiting Seattle, wearing these shirts into the store will get you 10% off of just about anything in the store. It doesn't apply to consoles or new games or rare games, but all used other used games... Uh, accessories, plushies, that sort of thing, you're going to get 10% off. And tonight, we're going to be offering them for, they're normally $20, but tonight we're going to be offering them for 15 These are really, really nice quality shirts. $15, and you can actually purchase these directly through our website, or just go ahead and message DS Koopa Checkout, and they'll set a shirt aside for you. Just let them know exactly which one you want. Um, we have this one I'm wearing here, the Pink Gorilla Classic logo. And now this one only goes up to a size 3X, is That's that right? That's right. Okay. Small or 3X. 3X for the logo shirt, and then these, the pink and the green, we call them katakana shirts. You can say Japanese shirts. Uh, those ones are going to go up to 5X. That's right, Kelsey. Very cool. And I heard her mention already, but I got I to gotta say it again. I wear one of these almost every day. They are just so soft. They feel great. All right, Kels, what do we want to look at next? I don't know. We're starting to run out of sections here, believe it or not. I think we'll hit the Genesis section. All right. Genesis is an overlooked section. It doesn't get enough credit, I think. But I know there's a lot of Sega fans that are with me and want to see this. I grew up with the Sega Genesis, actually. It's my first console that I ever personally owned. Here we got 688AS, Attack Sub, Animaniacs, that was the one I grew up playing. It's a lot of fun. You could switch between the uh, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot on the fly and use their abilities to get you through the level. Fatal Fury 2, a little beat up, but a whole lot of fun. All of these are tested and working. And again, again, I gotta say it, new save battery in every single one of these that needs it. Um, Earthworm Jim, super awesome classic. Now, which one is this? There's no Insector X, huh? Never seen that one. It looks so bizarre though. I believe that one is a shoot 'em up. I think I popped that one in back in the day, or when that one came in, just to see what it was all about. Hardball for only one dollar. That's a pretty good deal. Now we do have the Mortal Kombat trilogy here, one, two, and three. You might remember this classics. being a very controversial game back in the day. Genesis version included all that blood that the kids loved. Kids what? love blood, huh? Yep. Okay. Well, the Super Nintendo version didn't have the blood, which was lame. The kids were like, please, I need that. That's what makes it cool. And our last rose here, starting off strong with Rambo 3. 
Risk, another one I grew up playing, believe it or not. Pretty you fun. You grew up playing Risk? Yeah, because no one would play it with me. Yeah, it's a game that takes like 100 hours to beat, <laughs> so I had to play it on Genesis, and I love it. Now, you can't go wrong, of course, with the Sonic games. We do have Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles. And Sonic Spinball. Yeah. There we go. There's our Genesis section, guys. But let's not forget the Genesis in-box section. We also have box Genesis games. A lot of these have their manuals as well. Not always. We can check for you before you confirm your purchase, though. No problemo. See you later, Vector Man. Nice knowing you. Vector Man is out the door. There's Road Rash, Skitchin, the Sonic game, Sonic Classics which includes Sonic, Sonic Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What a deal. And guys, if you are messaging us right now, rest assured we are seeing it. Um, they're pretty backed up on orders right now, so we may not be able to respond to you right away, but we will be sending you a PayPal invoice towards the end of the night or tomorrow morning. Uh, we really appreciate you guys being here and being patient with us. Now I'm going to hit up a very generally appealing section and then go to one that I know only hardcore game collecting fans will love. First up right. is our Sony accessories. All right. We have so many accessories you could <laughs> you would need at home. $55 for a brand new DualShock 4 controller. We also have verified fixed by Cyborg PlayStation 3 controllers. Um, if you want to go cheaper, you don't really care about Player 2, go with uh, one of the third-party wired ones for only 15 a fraction of the cost. We've also got tons of memory cards, pretty much any cable you could possibly need for any system on the, the PS2. Uh, over here, we got Xbox One controllers, including a day one edition used one for only 45 Pretty cool. Uh, Xbox 360 controllers galore, including this nice shiny gold one with the adjustable D-pad. And just a couple, just a couple original Xbox controllers. That's a weird one. That sure is a weird one. Over here, we have our Switch stuff. Switch controllers, brand new ones only. No used ones have come in yet. They're so popular. And the Wii U con Pro Controller, which is my favorite controller besides the Xbox One controller. It feels so good. It and works so well. It and lasts so long on just one charge. I think I've only charged it once in the entire lifespan that I had it. Here's a really popular one for the holidays. GameCube controllers. Yeah. First party. First oh party my GameCube God. controllers. And these are cleaned. They are tested. We replace the sticks if they've gone bad. Everything about these is just, it's going to be great. Especially if you're a Smash player, we make sure that these are up to your standards. And one wave bird. <laughs> and again, any cables that you could possibly need, just go ahead and ask. And uh, I think for our last section of the night, Kelsey, what do you think? And then I think I'm going to review plushies at the very end again. But my very last section... Oh, there's, you want to look at that? Well, there is also one more keychain section. Okay, we got a little sure. bit more, but yeah. there is a. Uh, I do want to show off the Turbo Graphics slash PC Engine section. Oh, Cody because... is really treating you guys because this was supposed to be off limits. Oh, is it? You guys are getting a really good deal here oh, by really? getting to shop this stuff. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> okay, that we'll start okay. with the PC Engine games. A whole lot of them. I'm not. Man, the PC Engine is just amazing uncharted territory to me because. There's so many games that were just never re-released on anything else. They're they're semi difficult to play. I mean, the PC Engine isn't a, not a common system by any means. Um, but here you are, get to explore a new world, find your own hidden gems, and then I will move on to the Turbo Graphics, which will be a, much easier to play as they will be in English. Some really, really good titles in here. We have a pretty incredible selection right now. All right, I'm gonna look at the couple Turbo Graphics games we have here. It's a little dark in this corner, but 
Um, Why don't you just read them off? Yeah, I'll just read some off for you. We got Jack Nicholas Golf. Uh, I can't see that one in the back. It looks like Dragon Cyber. Oh, that is a Legend PC of... Engine game. Oh, I don't know why that's okay, whoops, back Wrong section. Legend of Heroes, it says. Uh, Chase HQ. Very, very rare title. Dragon's Curse. Ghost Manor. Vigilante. Samurai Ghost. Shapeshifter. TV Sports Football. World Class Baseball. Yeez 3 Wanderers from Yeez. And Super Volleyball. Cody's really treating you guys, letting you buy from our rare case here, because normally we do not do that, so jump on these now if you need them. All right, Kels, why don't you show us our last sections for the evening? All right, our final section tonight, guys. We appreciate you guys being here so much. It's actually going to be split up between two sections, because I think some of it's only in this... Uh, in this front case here, but we'll show them off real quick. This is our final keychain area. Once again, all of these come directly from Japan. Um, some of these I know are going to be kind of hard to describe, so please, uh, please try to describe them to the best of your ability if you are interested in purchasing. I love these boba ones. These with are the actual great. liquid inside. Yeah, real boba looking. If stuff. you're looking for a unique gift, here they are. Absolutely. I mean, where else are you going to find panda treats? Like, what do you even call these? Besides cute. You gotta they call are them really cute. cute. And right below that, if you guys are enamel pin collectors, ours are actually pretty reasonably priced. These are our mascots right here, the pink gorilla mascot. This right here says pink gorilla in Japanese. And we also have our old mascot. Some of you guys might know classic. This is the pink Godzilla. And as we go down here, our last two Splatoon keychains. These are real cute. We also have just a few more Animal Crossing keychains. Now, the purpose of these uh, is you can tie these around something you don't want to lose, like your phone or something like that, and put your fingers through it. So that way, if you drop it, you won't actually drop it. It's pretty genius, actually. Down here, kind of hard to see, but these are little birds in desserts. So they're tiny little birds that'll just sit on your desk or decorate wherever you want. Really, really cute birds with desserts. Next to them, really, really cute Shiba Inus playing some games. Badminton, we got Go. Look how cute they are. We got Shogi doing some art there with the paw print art. Over and here we have got our Dragon Ball keychains here. A couple that are, again, these are $3, folks, but there's a couple that were not included over there. There are, because these are probably our last ones of anything mm -hmm. over here. So we've got... Super Saiyan God Note. You will learn about her soon in the new series. That looks like Vegeta. That's right, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And this green guy, whoever he Zamatsu. is. Zamatsu. Oh, okay. Duh. My bad. And Superhero Boo. He's from the Dragon Ball Heroes series. Thank you, Cody. Oh, and here's Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Look there at that. Go. There he is. That's our last one of him. That is our last one. Now, here's something I think you guys are going to go nuts for. Undertale keychains. Everyone loves Undertale. And you know what's so special about these is these also are from Japan. So this is Japanese Undertale merchandise. I bet you didn't think that was a thing. Well, it is. We do have a few more Pokemon keychains. Again, these are also only $3. We just only have a few left of these. So there is a Rowlet. There's also a Pikachu with a hat. Those are our last ones of those, and those are going to be $3 as well. And of course, you guys saw our amazing Eevee Evolution keychains earlier. I am so happy we got these because, man, Eevee Evolutions are popular. And these are real cute. Speaking of Eevee Evolutions, right below it, these little Eevee Evolutions in teacups. Now, unfortunately, we only have Jolteon and Flareon left. One and Pikachu, Pikachu over no, here. No, there's yeah. a couple Pikachu. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So, EETV. And our final, final item. This is probably my favorite new thing we got. This is the Sanrio and Splatoon collection. These are also really cute rubber keychains, and they are all Sanrio characters geared up to play Splatoon with the cute little splash behind them. This is so amazing. I have no idea why it was made, but they are really, really cute. If you're not familiar with the character's name, just remember the color behind them. They are cute. Looks like our last Rotom keychain is selling. See you later, Rotom. I'm going to go ahead and hit the... Uh, the the plushie case in the very front. Just and one more time? Yep. Oh, and make sure, real quick, you know what we didn't show up is these larger plushies. Oh, did we not? We didn't, so let's real I quick. I did. These guys. 
Um, I guess that's true. Some of them are in there. Yeah. Rowlet's in there. We got one of these... What are these guys called again? Goma-chan? Yeah. yeah. Super cute seal. It's from like a children's cartoon in Japan. Don't worry about it. We got him because he's cute. Not because he's the video game. Not everything is video games here, as you guys saw. But uh, hitting the front plushie case that we showed off at the very beginning of the stream. Just one final time, in case there's any that you missed, interested in. I love these Splatoon pillows. They're so soft. Get yourself an Isabel in two lovely styles. Show off your Smash prowess. Show up, show up to Smash tournaments with this Isabel and just ring this the entire time. And uh, surely that has got to be illegal and distracting to your opponent. I love these high quality Pokemon plushies up here in the very front. So nice, ranging from uh, 18 to $20 but the quality really shows with them. I see that we're already out of Cyndaquil. Love that fiery soft back. Uh, similar thing here with the Growlithe. He's got that soft fur. It's great. And the Magikarp, looking dumb, looking cute. Duh. So holler if you need any of these. We got Yoshi in every color you could imagine. Oh. All right, Cody. What do you think? I think we hit just about everything. We Kels. really did. Yeah, everything. I think the that... one sections that we missed were PS3 and Wii. But uh, that might have to be for another day. It's looking like we're extremely backed up on orders right now. I uh, really appreciate everybody ordering with us. Yeah. And it's... So we are going to do our best now for the next multiple hours to get all of your orders ready to send you guys PayPal invoices. Again, I know you guys sent us a lot of stuff. We're going to do our best to fulfill all of them. They were first come, first serve, so unfortunately there might be a couple things in your order that may not get fulfilled. We're going to absolutely do our best for you. Uh, we appreciate you being here so much. This is a lot of fun, huh, Cody? It's a lot of fun. I love it. And uh, someone mentioned in the chat, I'd just like to show these off because they just came out. Why not throw it out there one last thing? Sure. We have Pokemon, the new Pokemon card set, Lost Thunder. Where'd it go? Right here? It's Lost. Oh. <laughs> the okay. Thunder. So we have... Oh. Suicune, Raikou, I think his name is. Oh, yeah. Raikou and Entei, <clears throat> and standard booster packs, and elite trainer boxes. Available all at standard MSRP prices. I believe these are 12. Booster packs are 4. And the Elite Trainer Box is 40. Inclu includes 10 booster packs, I think. No, 8. And a bunch of extra stuff. I don't know. It has a lot of stuff. If you know cards, you already know this stuff. If you need any of your standard card merch, we've got it here. Just throw it on your order. DS Koopa Checkout. And don't forget, if you subscribe to Twitch Prime, or just subscribe in general, you are going to get free shipping within the United States. Yeah, and we are so excited to get started on your orders tonight, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining the Twitch Home Shopping Network. Uh, we sure had a good time tonight, huh? I absolutely did. Um, would everyone like to say hey? Would oh, you guys like to say hello? <laughs> you guys want to meet our awesome behind-the-scenes staff because they have been absolutely working their butts off. Someone was asking me about this. I found it. Thanks for the okay. description. <laughs> Helpful. Here we have Kelly. She's talking to you on the chat, right? Mostly. Khan has been awesome as well and has been saying thank hey. you for your order. Hi, Very guys. Very nice and simple. <laughs> we're trying real hard to get back to all you guys, and we totally will once the stream's over. We're going to do our best to pack all this stuff. I've been getting some lag, too, so... Mm. We are doing it's our best. Fine. You guys <laughs> give a big round of applause to these guys, as well as Nathan. Hi. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much for all yeah. of your help. It's and thank crazy. you, Chad, for being so awesome and crazy oh. and once again proving Cody wrong about how busy this is going to be. Because <laughs> Cody is, always says it's not going to be big. I guess it's only been twice, but both times we were totally just overwhelmed by the support we're getting here which is awesome so thank you guys so much thank you everybody i'm gonna send you over to a friend of mine ally 90 she's uh playing monster hunter world one of our favorite games ever and you guys are gonna freak her out yeah so uh just <laughs> yeah so uh just let her know that um yeah that you had a great time that shopping that you tell had a great what time you bought. shopping with us yeah tell her what you bought <laughs> have a great night everybody bye bye Good.